Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I haven't done a review video in a while, so I thought it was about time. And I've been working on Penny the Border Collie here for quite a while now. So I thought it was about time um, that I can review this paper for you because I know a few people have asked me about it. If my voice sounds funny today, I apologize, but my asthma is really, really bad. So I kind of sound like a squeaky mouse at the moment. So I apologize for that. But anyway. This paper is the Saunders Waterford, I'm going to say 300 GSM, which is about 140 pound um, weight paper. It is hot pressed, um, so it is pretty smooth, but it's still got a nice amount of tooth to it. So I can really, really work on it for a long time without burnishing. Uh, pros of this paper. So I switched papers recently and started using the um, Strathmore Bristol board, which I absolutely adore. Most of my recent stuff has been on that. Penny here is gigantic. <laughs> she is a huge 14 by 16 inches um, and I couldn't get Strathmore in that size. So I went back to my Saunders because it's what I used to use all the time. And <laughs> going back to it, I forgot just how much of a beating this paper can take like I can be like I can really beat it and I, it just gets so many layers down it is crazy um so yeah pros you can layer this stuff an insane amount and it still stays it just doesn't care <laughs> it really doesn't um which I love about it um white fur on it is possibly one of my favorite things to do because it just takes color so nicely so i can put my violets and my blue my blues and lots of pinks and everything like that and it just it doesn't lose anything i love it um cons at the moment the only cons i'm finding which i do find with dark colors on this mainly dark grays and dark sepia um i'm polychromos it does smudge so um if i erase over here a little patch i don't know if you can see but it does smudge quite badly hence why i have this massive sheet of wax paper across because otherwise it does smudge but what i'll do is i will take up the paper and show you the rest of her so what i've done so far so this is how she looks at the moment so we're getting there um but yeah it just it takes so many layers and it just is not even remotely bothered by it <laughs> so what i'm gonna do um is i'm going to work on a little patch on her ear so you can see how she comes along and just how the sort of paper reacts um and i will list colours as I do them. So it's like a mini black fur tutorial and paper review. So what I do is I start off with a uh, cold grey 2. Um, I've just outlined with light blue and then put a bit pink down. But I start with cold grey 2. Just put like an even layer over it. This is only going to be quick. Um, I love how this paper, you can kind of hear how the pencil like rubs on it because there's enough tooth um, and then I use this sky blue um, pencil put a bit around the edges it was a really clear reference to work from which was great as well um, the, yeah the paper just is not bothered even slightly by layering so this is the Coco Pablo which was eaten by my puppies which you can see is beaten up <laughs> um, yeah this paper has no problem with just being really really layered at all it just it doesn't it's not bothered at all <laughs> you can kind of you can <laughs> and it also it t I find it takes quite a bit to burnish this like if you're putting lots of layers down and then burnishing the paper it does actually take quite a bit <laughs> of effort to um, really burnish it. 
so you can see it just keeps taking the pencil really nicely so next is cold grey 4 Um, this paper cost, a, oh, I think it's around £3-ish from um, Jackson's Art Supplies. I will put a link below. Um, I get it in the Imperial Sheets, um, which are 22 by 30 inches. Um, I have done haul videos where I've had this paper come before. I sort of got a stockpile of like <laughs> 10 huge sheets under my um or behind my desk at the moment um it is a great paper I really do enjoy working on it I sort of forgot how much I enjoyed working on it this is cold grey five so yeah I sort of forgot how much I enjoyed working on this paper until I sort of went back to it I do love working on it I just find um, the layering to be both good and bad because it takes so many layers that it does start taking a really long time to work on like on a different paper like my Strathmore I'd have probably finished her ears by now but it just, it just takes so long to get like the really dark dark black down you can see I've like done quite a few layers of pencil and I'm going back over the same sections and it just it just keeps taking more and more layers so this is cold grey six It just, it is a really nice paper to work on. It's really soft feeling. Um, it's nice and weighty, so it's nice and thick. It feels soft when you when you touch it. It does feel quite soft. Um, I think it's cotton paper. I will double check that. So it's a hundred percent cotton, acid free, archival, and it does come in cold press and rough textures as well as the hot press um, I don't find either of those work for coloured pencil at all but that's my personal preference so obviously if you like something really textured um, then you can try those out overall I love this paper I'm now using Pans Grey Polychromos to try and build up a bit more colour it just takes so long to like layer all those bits and get it as dark as I want it, it does take a while and um, you can blend with um, odorless minimal spirit or zest it um, it takes those perfectly fine because it's a watercolour paper um, yeah it's not bothered at all um, I'm just going to put a bit of dark sepia down on top and it, yeah <laughs> you've kind of got an idea of how well it works and how many layers it takes it just keeps building and building and building and I could more than happily go over all of this again and be perfectly fine with doing more layers it um, is not phased at all so I definitely recommend checking this paper out um, it is one of my favourites um, but yeah if you've liked this video or found it helpful don't forget to give it a little thumbs up I really appreciate it and if you want to see more videos like this reviewing certain products then leave a comment below with what you would like my opinion on and I will see you guys in the next one bye